Today, I'm reacting to your watches on the Pride and Pinion subreddit. And can I please have a big applause for you? Because the subreddit has 70,000 members. Can I have an applause? Fantastic! What are your thoughts on my watch collection? Let me see. I see a Yachtmaster, I see a Milgauss, I see a Grand Seiko, I see the new Air King, I see an Explorer, I see a Tudor Black Bay. What the hell is that? I see a Aorus, I see another Aorus, and I see, I think, another Aorus and a Tudor Black Bay Golden Steel. That is some bloody watch collection, you know. The Yachtmaster is the luxurious version of the Submariner. At least that's Rolex proposition. I mean, Submariner was for the real man underwater that do all sorts of dangerous stuff. And the Yachtmaster, yeah, it was for the posh c on a yacht. The Milgauss was of course for professors because it was there to resist magnetic fields with great watch. Grand Seiko is only for fanboys and for hippies. Nothing wrong with that by the way, I'm not making fun of you this time. Then we have a Rolex Air King, the new Rolex Air King which I really really like. And now the Auras will just ignore. Love the Tudors. Some watch collection mate. Lurk and Lurk 88, thank you so much. Don't know what that that means, but whatever. Finally got the watch I have been saving up. Nico is right. It is proper lightweight. Yes! I've said this a million times on this channel. I owned the Omega Seamaster, the James Bond, the Titanium Seamaster. I owned it. I loved it, bar the fact that I felt like I never had anything on my wrist. It was really weird. Unfortunately, I sold it and I regret it ever since. And it's good to see that people actually are buying this. So, Western Clock 17. 56 makes complete sense, of course. I really appreciate your post and what a great watch you have. I'm a diamond setter and I did this. Yeah, it's already worth more than a Hublot, so fair play. Okay, Soko Tash 6128. What is up with those bloody Reddit names? So, upvote 90. Hope your setting is better than your filming. <laughs> yes. Yeah, your filming is pretty damn sh. Honestly, you could sell this to some up and coming rapper and they'd probably pay a grip for it. That is true. First one of these TikToks I've seen that makes somewhat sense. Let's see. Watch categories. Ultra Luxury, Bouvet, FP Journe, Agribble Forcey, Moser and Louis Monet. I wouldn't consider Louis Monet. I wouldn't consider them Ultra Luxury. Luxury, Rolex, Omega, IWC, Grand Seiko, Zenith, Glass Shoot, Bretling, Cartier. Panerai, Bulgari, Chopar, Quorum. I would put Grand Seiko in entry level luxury. <laughs> Am I just winding up all these lefties here? If you disagree, there's uh, somewhere here a place where you can cry about that, right? It's called the comment section. Go on. You know what it is with Grand Seiko lovers, right? You know cattle, right? And sheep. They run after each other, right? They have no idea what they're running to. They just run a direction because another sheep is running there. Exactly that! No one has ever seen the inside of a Grand Seiko. But they still say, ah, it's the best finish in the world and best quality control in the world. And, well, they've never opened a watch before. <laughs> it's the funniest thing in the world. I've had several Grand Seikos that I opened up and disassembled. And let me tell you one thing, it's basic. I'll give you one thing. The dials are really nice, right? And I'm also a Grand Seiko owner, but... At least I'm not a fucking sheep. So you Grand Seiko lovers go run after each other. I'm going to be slated in any Reddit about Grand Seiko. No, I'm dead. <laughs> There's a comment. If you think Grand Seiko is clearly better than Glashut Original, Rolex, Zenith, Chopard, Omega, you're nuts. <laughs> I like this guy. Where the hell is Seiko? There's a Seiko and a very special one. Today, finally, and listen, I am a Seiko fan, right? I love Seiko. My most valuable watch is a Seiko. It's the watch that my grandfather bought. And that gets us to the new drop of IFL watches. This is IFL's first ever Seiko. This is actually the newly released Seiko 5 Sports with GMT function. Every dial is completely unique because it's complete and other hand painted. I absolutely love this and I, I do think that this is my favorite release by IFL yet. There's such a big group of Seiko fans that will absolutely appreciate everything on this watch. Like, forget about the Grand Seiko fans. They're left-wing terrorists. The Seiko fans are the real boys. This is a limited edition drop of 150 pieces. And like every drop before, this is gonna sell out quick. So make sure you do not miss out. Because yes, I would call this 
proper god tier. Oh, I love these books. You know when my son was born, Junior, I got like a hundred people sending me this book. Like I have like f***ing tons of them, it's insane. C is for Cartier, the D is for Daytona, and yes, there's an H there for Hublot. Legitimate lobster, thank you for sharing this with me. Just a tip for you, the H page, you can just rip out, by the way, I've done that with mine. My girlfriend bought me this watch for exams. Marriage material, right? But Jesus Christ, mate, how much f***ing hair do you have on your wrist? This is another Seiko 5. I fucking love the Seiko 5s. Is this a good watch? Yes, this is a very good first watch. Well done. Dry Taste 3741. What is up with these names? <laughs> Decent first watch. Hamilton. Absolutely fantastic. How do you feel about a digital PRX? It's a f***ing shambles. I love the PRX, right? I thought it was fantastic. Love it. It was cool. And then Tiso f***ed me. They just tried to copy Casio and some piece of sh**. They're trying to copy Casio, right? Put a PRX bracelet on there. Sell it for 350 quid. Tiso, what the f***? are you doing? You had such a great thing going with this and now you're becoming greedy. Why do you need to do that? Oh, that is fantastic. I don't know if we could put this in, but relevant ad, I love it. When you really want your brand to be God tier. That is fantastic. Look at this. I'm actually gonna comment on this. You are the daddy. That is genuinely fantastic. What watch takes do you have where you'll end up like this? This is me in front of all those left-wing terrorists that love Grand Seiko. Bizarre. There's a Grand Seiko Reddit, and I'll just now give some tissues to you guys, right? Today, I picked up my SBG W231, and I couldn't be happier with this. It's beyond stunning. I am so glad I ignored Nico Leonard. Nico is so daft. He has valid experience in the industry, but at the end of the day, he's a salesman trying to turn a profit. What gets views, clickbait, hot takes, and propping up hype? Congrats on your Grand Seiko. You likely won't look back. Now, let me comment on that, which I did, by the way. I uh, got a lot of negative comments, by the way, on that. But I commented four days ago, because yes, and I appreciate you, I do have valid experience in this industry, and yes, for you, here's, here's one. I have opened several Grand Seikos. We checked them, we surfaced them. I'm very fortunate to have a few skills as a watchmaker as well. Um, oh shit, that's how I started my career. Yes, uh, I do kind of, just a wee bit, know what I'm, what I'm seeing, you know? I'm a salesman, correct. We sell watches, represent pride and opinion. If I was a proper salesman, I would sell Hublot because Hublot is the biggest margin maker in the world. 50, 60% margin, and that is just solely on the gray market because they're so cheap to buy and you can sell them at high price points because people are still stupid enough to buy them. To be fair, the same count for Grand Seiko because some people just dump them on the market because they do realize what they've bought. If I was a proper salesman, I wouldn't sell Rolex. I would sell Hublot, right? Because Rolex, I only make eight, nine percent margin if I'm lucky. And Hublot is like 50% margin. Hublot lover, uh, Grand Seiko lover, I have a few tissues for y'all. Don't worry, I got you. If that's not enough, the comment section is there for you. Grand Seiko is dog shit, but they'll realize that in a few years. We'll be all right.